this is a simple question to answer but first thing is you should understand the question properly so i'll suggest you to pass the video and uh, read the question carefully and try to understand so in this problem we have a rod of mass 2 kg and one end of the rod is pivoted like it is attached to the wall at point c another end it has a mass 2 kg sorry 8 kg which is hanging and we have a cable ab which is connected with wall and the rod and the distance between the point at which the cable is connected to the rod and the wall is 60 centimeter the point b is connected here now along the cable uh, tension force will act the tension will act so it is like this we need to find this tension so let's consider the angle which in which the cable is making with rod is theta uh, theta is 30 degree which is given in the question now we can take the component of this tension so this will be t sin theta vertical component and horizontal component will act in this direction that is t cos theta this is one force which is acting on the rod one more force will act that is acceleration due to gravity of the rod and it will act at uh, its uh, center of gravity which is uh, 50 centimeter from this wall and this gravitational force we can write mass times gravity here the mass of the rod is 2 kg so i'm writing 2 into g and another force is due to this 8 kg mass uh, this will act at this point that i'll write it as 8 kg now i'll redraw this diagram it's like a free body diagram and mention the forces one more time so this is our point uh, c uh, this is the pivot uh, about which the rod is going to rotate so here we have one force that is t sin theta you know the t cos theta is not going to be responsible for the rotation of the rod i am not considering here uh, when you apply a force along the length of the rod it will not rotate so i am not considering it uh, yeah this distance is 60 centimeter you can write it as 0.6 meter another one is uh, gravitational force due to the rod which is 2g so this is 50 centimeter i can write 0.5 meter and the third one is here 8g and this is one meter from the pivot now these are the forces which are acting uh, since the system is in equilibrium so the net torque should be equal to zero net torque should be equal to zero now this 2g and 8g these two gravitational forces you know, tends to uh, rotate the rod in the clockwise direction but whereas the t sin theta will try to rotate the rod in anti-clockwise direction so both the torque are in opposite direction uh, the directions are opposite if their magnitudes are same then the net torque is going to be zero uh, you know in some book they will consider clock in uh, clockwise uh, sorry torque in clockwise direction is positive anti-clockwise direction is negative something like that they will consider and then proceed so that is also correct or you can consider in this way also so i am writing uh, torque in clockwise should be equal to torque in anti-clockwise direction so clockwise we have uh, of course the torque can be written as force times perpendicular distance or perpendicular uh, here perpendicular distance means it is the distance between or a perpendicular distance between force and axis of rotation so whatever distance i have mentioned these are the perpendicular distances uh, let's write, uh, write for the clockwise direction so first i am considering the 2 kg sorry 2 g force here the distance is uh, 0 0.5 next that 8 g distance is 1 and uh, t sin theta the distance is 0 0.6 let's substitute g value and theta value and see what happens 2 into 10 into 0 0.5 plus 8 into 10 into 1 which is equal to t sin 30 degree into 0 0.6 now we want this t so t sin 30 sin 30 is 1 by 2 so t into 1 by 2 into 0 0.6 which is equal to 10 plus
800. Oh, sorry. This should be eight. So 10 plus 80, which is 90. Now T will become 90 into 2 divided by 0 0.6. So this is 180 plus 0 here 6 is 300 Newton. So the tension in the cable is 300 Newton. 